Hi and ho, I am Swifto and welcome to this gameplay video. This is Sabrina the Teenage Witch, uh, spooked I think, and um, why am I playing this? You might be wondering, probably not. Well, I was actually going to play this game uh, last year when I was doing my Shantae gameplay series of videos. Because, as you saw at the beginning there, this game is made by WayForward Technologies, the same people that made this Shantae games. And even the intro animation thing is the same as... Oh dear, <laughs> that music isn't very good. But what I was saying is even the um, animation where she's walking across the screen is the same as the Shantae game. Uh, this predates the first Shantae though, so it's kind of strange. I just came across this game randomly one time when I was looking for games online, like Game Boy games, because I like Game Boy games, and uh, I realised that it kind of looks similar graphic style to the original, the first Shantae game, which makes sense because, like uh, I said, it's made by WayForward Technologies, and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give this game a go because uh, I like the Shantae game. But I did play a wee bit of this when I first uh, downloaded the ROM last year. <laughs> and uh, I kind of forgot what it's all about, but uh, I vaguely remember it being not very good. So uh, with that in mind, let us begin. And it is October, so... Hopefully it will be spooky and stuff. Hey, Salem, have you... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Noticed that Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda are getting, or acting, sort of strange lately. No stranger than usual. <laughs> oh, he's funny, that cat, isn't he? What about this then? Is that her aunt? That looks weird. Should say that I've never actually watched the animated series. Uh, I did watch a wee bit of the um, live action series, the one that was on years ago. I just recently discovered that they're actually making a. or they have made like a newer version of Sabrina, which is more of a horror thing. Sounds interesting. I've never seen it, of course, though. Yeah, I watched the, um, the older one that was on in the 90s. Uh, I, know I wasn't really a fan of it because it's, like, about a teenage girl. I always thought, oh, that's a girl show. I'm not watching that. But I remember seeing bits of it when I was younger. You can read this if you want. I can't be asked reading it. I'm just thinking back to my younger days. And, uh, yeah, uh, there was this program on. I think it was Saturday morning. It was. Uh, was it? Oh, I always get them mixed up. There was one that was live and kicking, and there was another one that which was SMTV Live, I think it was called. And basically, it was like one of these shows where you have like, um, different shows in between, if that makes sense. And I used to watch it because they showed, uh, some of the Pokemon cartoon, eh, uh, what do you call them? Anime, yeah. Pokemon anime, like, um, the original series, Pokemon. And I think this came on after it, eh, uh, not this cartoon version, which I never saw, as I said, uh, the live action one. But I used to always stop watching it at that point because I thought, oh, this is a girl show, I'm not watching this. But then, uh, started watching episodes of it on YouTube years later. During my teenage years, for, uh, reasons. <laughs> what? Teenage girl? What, what, what do you want me to say? So, yeah, I watched a few episodes of it on YouTube many years ago, when I was a teenager myself. And it's one of those weird things, um, 
kind of like similar to um, fairly odd parents. Like, you have these characters who have magical powers, but then they don't do anything with it because they've got this rule book that they have to be, obey. And it's like that for pretty much every episode I remember watching. It's like, oh no, you can't do that because the magical rules rule book says that you can't do this. And like, why bother having these characters that can do magical things if you can't, if they, you don't let them do anything with it? Never understood that. But uh, I suppose because it's a children's show, they have to do like the whole morals thing and say, oh, it's bad to be bad and good to be good stuff. Anyway, we're finally into the game. Thank fuck for that. That was like five minutes it took to get into it. Very slow. As you can see though, if you're familiar with the original Shantae game on the Game Boy Color, this might look kind of similar, graphic style. And I should have been paying more attention, I guess, to the opening thing. I think you have to collect things. Oops. Um, okay, so... That doesn't do anything. What's the point of that, then? Does it charge up or something? It's not doing anything. Shit. Well, you've only got the two buttons because uh, it's a Game Boy game. Does Select do anything? It does nothing! But you can see even, like, the, um... Bit at the bottom. Can't remember what you call it. Why does this do nothing? Maybe I'm missing something. Um, yeah, it's similar style to um, Shantae. Although, obviously, not quite as good gameplay. <laughs> Fuck. Right, what are we doing? I don't know. I think we're collecting these gems. Is that the object of the level or game? Oh, for fuck's sake. Not playing very well. But even those hearts are reminiscent of uh, the hearts. Uh, Shantae game. I, I can't get up there for some reason. Oh, you can run. Ah, maybe that's what I have to do. Take a run and jump. Yes, there we go. See? I have a brain. And I just accidentally fell down. Right. Okay, so that button jumps. Press the jump button to jump. That makes sense. And try not to die. It's always recommended. I seem to remember that the, the um, cat followed her. About, maybe I was wrong about that. There is actually two Sabrina games for the Game Boy Color, so I might be getting mixed up with the other one. I can't, couldn't remember which one I'd played. So I just put this one on, because it said spooked, and I thought, well, it is near, nearly Halloween, so I thought it would be appropriate. And, oh, shit. We've been up here, didn't we? Right. We've been up here, didn't we? That's a sentence. So where the hell are we? There's some sort of cake land, by the looks of it. These look like things that you can pick up, but I think they're about part of the background. Oh, here's the other gem. Ah, so that is what you have to do. You click the gems and then uh, escape. Oh, how am I supposed to get past this guy if I can't do anything to him? That is bullshit. Oh, oh fucking hell. He's chucking those cakes about like a mad person who chucks cakes about. So yeah, it's not quite uh, on par with Shantae, this game. Oh, can I jump on him? Oh, I can, actually. That's good. So we're going by Mario logic, then. Right, now I know. Now I know how to get past him. There we go. We're making progress. So, uh, did any of you ever see... Um, the animated series, because I've never seen it, which this game is based on. Shit, I couldn't get... Oh yeah, I forgot, you jump on them, don't you? That's it. I'd already forgotten. Or uh, the live-action series that was on in the 90s, which I watched. 
later on. Just curious, or the new series which I've only just found out about. Be interested in or did anyone ever read the comics of Sabrina? Which I think started in the 60s, I think. Could be wrong about that. Maybe 50s, actually. But anyway, we finally got past the first round after 10 minutes of babbling nonsense. But yeah, one thing I did like about uh, the Sabrina series was the cat. It's like this really bad puppet. <laughs> but uh, it was obviously very fake looking, but I seem to remember him being funny. Probably the only thing I actually enjoyed about the series. Other than the fact that it was a a ghetto, you know. <laughs> anyway, and since I brought it up, I'm just wondering if anyone from the UK who remembers um, watching those. Uh, oh, you do get the cat. I was right. So what does he do then? Watching the. Um, Oh, that book has a cat face. Oh, fuck! What the fuck is that? I don't know. Can I stomp on it? Uh, I have to stomp on them a couple of times. So, what do you do? Salem? I always thought that was a bit of a weird name for uh, a witch's cat. Because, you know, like the Salem witch trials. <laughs> I'm, I take it that's a reference to that, which is a bit dark for a children's comic, is it not? I don't know. But anyway, as I was saying, anyone from the UK remember watching, uh, can't remember if it was Live and Kicking or SMTV Live. There was one that had like a Highland cow and then they replaced it with these sort of gremlin things. And then the, the other one, which I'm thinking of, that showed Pokemon and uh, Sabrina had uh, Ant and Dick if anyone from the UK probably knows who Ant and Dick are, if you're not living in the UK, basically they're these two people. I think they started off in a program called Grange Hill, and they're like these annoying, basically celebrities for the sake of celebrities. They don't actually do anything. They just host like various celebrity shows these days. I think. Yeah, not that I really watch that shit anyway. I can't find any of the gems in this level. I obviously need to use the cat to get these blocks. And yeah, there was another person with Ant and Dick who was just called Cat. She was a female. Presumably, uh, she was called Cat like um, Cat and Red Dwarf because she was half cat, half human or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking blocks. What's that doing? Oh yeah, right. We're controlling the cat now. Oh, that's cool. I like that. And he gets rid of the blocks. And he even has a wee meow. That's cute. And yeah, I remember they had like um, their own spoof version of uh, Friends, which was called Chums. And various silly things like that. I don't know why I watched it. It was nonsense that you watch when you're a kid, and then it's only looking back at it, you're like, the fuck is. What the fuck was that shit that I watched when I was younger? I don't know. And I remember one time they had either Anne or Dick. They're basically the same, like the two people. They did some sort of brain transplant where they put his mined into an egg and then they dropped the egg for comedic effect <laughs> stuff like that ah here we go yay can I just leave her here <laughs> or do I have to be her to go in the portal I don't know let's just find out because I want to be the cat I like cats especially black cats if I ever get my own house I'd quite like to get a wee cat to keep me company and a wee black cat like uh, Salem and uh, that'd be nice. Oh, can I kill these guys if I'm the cat? Maybe that's why I have to... Oh yeah, he he can't kill them. Damn it. Oh, and he can't go in the portal either. Shit. 
I hope I don't die here. Oh, for fuck's sake. One hit. One hit. Can he do it? Oh, 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 oh. That was close. Come on, where is she? Ah, there she is. There's a wee black cat uh, who comes and says hello to me every now and then whenever I go down to my mum's house. Which is uh, quite nice. Obviously, it's just scrounging to get in the house and food and warmth and whatever. <laughs> there was one time my mum actually let it in the house and uh, I was making itself at home. Which is an odd experience. Because uh, my mum doesn't really like cats, but for some reason <laughs> she just randomly let the cat in the house for some reason. I don't know if it's a stray cat or not because, ah oh, shit, we died. It hasn't got, like, a collar or anything. But every now and then when I go down to my mum's house, it just sometimes gives me a fright when I'm going past. It's just like, meow! <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I do like cats. One day I hope to get my own pet cat. I like them much more than dogs, because they don't require as much attention. And in my opinion, they're not quite as annoying. Although, obviously, they can be somewhat annoying. I've met some cats who were really nasty, but the uh, thing with dogs is they're too demanding, I think, and you've got to walk them, and... Well, obviously, you have to feed cats as well, but cats are a bit more independent, and I like that. And they're a bit more lazy as well, which uh, appeals to me, <laughs> since I'm a lazy bastard as well. I'm much more of a cat person. I didn't really need that, did I? But I got it anyway. Well. Oh, come on. I think I'll just uh, get to the end of this level. And then, uh, call it a day, I think. Just wanted to show a wee bit of this game. To show the similarity of this game to, um, Shantae. The first Shantae game on the Game Boy Color. Like, you can see the... If you're familiar, familiar with that game, you can see the similarities with the graphics and stuff. And for some reason, WayForward have this thing where they like to do games about females. Like, I think all their girls, rev all their games revolve around girls of some sort. With the Sabrina games, and then Shanty, and then the most recent game is a game. Uh, River City Girls, which I think is based on an older game, River City Fighters, I think it's called. Never played it. Uh, but that just makes me think it's set in Glasgow because uh, River City. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it is set in Glasgow. And uh, judging by the look of it, it's one of those games that's definitely aimed at a male audience, even though it's like starring females. Gotta say, I don't think it's really my cup of tea. Uh, as for this game though, it is somewhat annoying. I think maybe if I wasn't dying all the t if I wasn't talking, I wouldn't be dying as much and uh, maybe it might be a bit more enjoyable, but uh, it's, it's decent enough. It must have been the other game that I was playing, because this is kind of different from what I remember. Like I said, there's two Sabrina games on the- oh, for fuck's sake, on the Game Boy Color. And I remember one of them being really bad. This isn't too bad, like I say. Although, I think, if this is all there is to the game, like, uh, each level, collect three gems and then go to the exit, I can see this probably very repetitive. And I do notice that the music hasn't changed, so that's kind of repetitive as well. So, uh, it's not exactly a brilliant game, but it's okay, I would say. And, uh, yeah, I think I've exhausted everything I want to say. So, um, yeah. That was Sabrina. Teenage Witch, uh, the animated series spooked for the Game Boy Color. And uh, thank you very much for watching.
Adiós.